interesting question. Uh, this is a composite figure and we need to find its perimeter, exact approximate and area, again, exact approximate. Let's talk about perimeter. So perimeter will be, uh, first off, if this is 7 and this is 12, this is 4, this is also 7, this is also 4, this is also 4 and this is also 4. So if this is 12 and this is 4, so definitely remaining 8 is this. And uh, yeah, this is how it is. So the perimeter will be, I'm going to highlight whichever I'm going to add. So first I'm going to add these four uh, edges because the perimeter is sum of all the edges. So I'm talking about part A, perimeter. And peri for perimeter, I'm going to add the one which I just shaded. So that's 7 plus 12 plus 7 plus 12 because this complete is also 12, which will give me 14 plus 24, which is 38. Okay. That is first part. And the second part, I'm going to add uh, the one which is in blue. So 1, 2, and 3. This is what I'm going to add. And all three are 4. So that will be 38 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. 4 times 4 is 4, 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12 and 38 plus 12 is 50. And then I'm going to add the last part, which are the curved parts, the two semicircle. So two semicircle are nothing but one complete circle or anyway, I'm going to uh, add it like uh, the length of the semicircle is pi r because the complete circle is 2 pi r. So semicircle is pi r. So that's pi r plus pi r. So that will be 50 plus 2 pi r. And what is R? R will be this, which is half of 4, which is half of 4, which is nothing but 2. So 50 plus 2 pi times 2, so that will become 50 plus 4 pi. This is the required perimeter in inches. This is the exact value, 50 plus 4 pi. And the approximate value using pi as 3.14, that's going to be just replacing pi with 3.14. And that's going to come out as 62.56, 62.56. All right. Now I'm going to clear this up and work for the area. Okay. Uh, now, if you work with the area, then we have to divide the figure in, in some parts. Like this is the first part, this is the second part, this is the third part, this is the fourth part. So area is the sum of all these parts. So the area is going to be the area or let's call it the area of the first part is going to be length times width. So that's 12 times 7, uh, which is uh, 84. And the unit is definitely inch square. So I'm not going to write it again and again. I'm just, I'll just write it in the final answer. Uh, then the area of the figure 2. Figure 2 is what? A square. So area of a square is 4 times 4, which is 16. And 3 and 4 are basically the same figure. So area of 3 plus 4 is going to be a pi r square over 2 plus pi r square over 2 because these are semicircles. And area of complete circle is pi r square. So half will be pi r square over 2. So that's going to be pi r square where r, like I said, is 2. So 2 square is 4. So we write 4 pi. So the total area, total area, is going to be the sum of area of all these three. So 84 plus 16 plus 4 pi. 84 plus 16 is going to be uh, 100. So that's exact value is 8, uh, 800 plus 4 pi inch square. And the approximate value is, which is for the second part, by replacing pi with 3.14. And adding 100 to it will give us 112.56. 5, 6 inch square. So this is the approximate area. Thank you.